I want to suggest some of the things that should be in your life's blueprint. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodyness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. Secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have, as a basic principle, the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. You're going to be deciding as the days and the years unfold what you will do in life, what your life's work will be. Once you discover what it will be, set out to do it, and to do it well. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. What well, isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. Finally, in your life's blueprint, must be a commitment to the eternal principles of beauty, love, and justice. Well, life for none of us has been a crystal star, but we must keep moving. We must keep going. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving. What's going on, world? Michael Beasy here coming to you from the Dreamer's Corner, episode 14. Yes, yes, yes. Before I do anything else, I want to remind y'all to please like, subscribe, share, comment. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you, and it is very much appreciated. And if you weren't able to catch episode 13, no worries. YouTube haters came out the woodwork, blocked the episode, and it is what it is. I don't care. I'll keep it moving, just like Dr. Martin Luther King said in the opening segment. Keep it moving. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to keep it moving. And just in case you did miss last episode, we're celebrating Black History Month this month on the, the Dreamers Corner. And although we believe Black History should be celebrated 12 months a year, it's bullshit that no networks have celebrated it really at all. So you know what? We're going to do it here at the Dreamers Corner. So, the first exclusive feature I have for y'all today is a special message from John Hope Bryant on the difference between being broke and being poor. And I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I've been poor and I've been broke as hell in life. So, let's check it out. It allows me to understand that there's a difference between being broke and being poor. Being broke is economic, but being poor is a disabling frame of mind and a depressed condition of your spirit and you must vow never, ever, ever to be poor again. I was in India and I was, I, I had gone to this, this, this uh, university and I spoke there and after I left, I, I got back to the hotel and I realized I didn't have my wallet. And so I called the hotel and I said, can you please bring the car back, they have my wallet. And they said, I'm sorry sir, we don't have a car, that was a taxi. I became a little cynical. I went from hopeful to skeptical to cynical and I started thinking the worst of people and of course they said, well my, my wallet is gone. By midnight, they called and said, we're still trying. He's not answering the phone, the taxi cab driver. But at 2 in the morning, they called and said he answered his phone. His phone was off. He's coming back to your hotel with your wallet. So I get dressed, and I run downstairs, and a man meets me, and the bellman translates in for me in India in the dialect, and I reach into my wallet, and there's $70 U.S. So I reach out, and I say, let me give this $70 to you. This is my way of saying thank you. And the man says, no. I said, no, I don't think you understand. I'm talking about paying you. I'm talking about giving you a month's worth of your salary. One more time, he said, and this time he became a little visibly angry. He said, angry. He said I told you no. I didn't bring you your wallet because I wanted a reward. I brought you your wallet because it's your wallet. So I said to the man, what can I do to be thankful to you? What can I do to say thank you? He said, well, the next time you're in India, Come to my house and have tea. Be my friend. You gain more by giving 
You get more by building. You learn more by listening. Eagles don't fly in packs. There are three types of birds. There are eagles, there are buzzards, and there are turkeys. Eagles are high altitude birds, they're regal. There's a, it's not arrogant, they're not pompous, but there's a certain regalness to an eagle. Then you've got another kind of bird, it's a buzzard. Buzzards are always stepping on your head to elevate themselves. But the worst kind of bird is a turkey because the turkey's got wings and can't even fly. All they do is profile, translation, trying to be something they are not. And I'm now going to come right to you. What kind of bird do you want to be? Next up, I've seen a member of my grounds team, Barbara Flanders. Yeah, I'm sorry, she's new. I forgot her name. Down to Morton Steakhouse. Sorry, Barb. Down to Morton Steakhouse because the cast of Martin is down right now eating steak. Fans want to know where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh oh, uh oh. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we bringing back Martin? What are we doing, Martin? Never say, what are we doing, Martin? Never say never. We never say never. <laughs> so we don't know nothing right now, but yeah. never say never. Do, is there, is there, there has to be a little bit of cahoots. You guys look way too damn happy to just be getting lunch at Morton's. I know steak never made anyone that happy. <laughs> well, within life, there's always new beginnings. Right. Yes. And there's always change. And there's always uh, new plateaus where we have to reach. So we'll see what's happening. We can't tell y'all shit. <laughs> It was a show of its time, right? There hasn't been a show like it since. It was funny, it was it was quirky, it was on point. Is that something that you have to kind of be worried about to bring back when you guys decide to bring the show back? Ooh, she got some questions, don't she? Well, I don't think we have to do it the same way. Right. I just yeah. think we have to be funny and we have to be entertaining and give people heartfelt stories. 100%. Yeah. And the truth. Tell me and the truth. What's the truth? What would be the truth to a show like Martin? The truth the is evolution. Relevant. Evolution. <laughs> you know, so maybe it's like still a little. Would it be fun. Would it, be like, yeah. would it bring like politics into it? Is that important in today's society to kind of have a platform? Why are you asking us all this? Did we just tell you? <laughs> You know, a little something, and something. We would definitely want to be current. Yeah. yeah, we're not trying to relive anything. And we we want to give credence to the past right. and show how the past has evolved Basically, and made you. us yeah. into who we are. We're blessed because the '90s were a great time. Yeah, and we would love to recreate it or just bring it back alive and give credence to it and kind of tap into a place. We ain't telling y'all shit. Yeah. <laughs> That is some excellent reporting, Barbara. And you've had some big shoes to fill, so just want to say good job. And I am super excited for Martin Reboot. Like, so excited. And Gina and Marty Martin, they look pretty happy. And last time I heard, Martin was being accused of some bull crap with the sexual allegations because of Gina. But they look like they was cool and eating steak together, so I don't know. Anyways. Next up, we're going to dive into the movie part of things. Because you know, here at the Dreamers Corner, we love movies. And since it's Black History Month, we figure we bring Black History Month and movies together. So, last episode, I showed y'all Marshall. Well, showed some of y'all if y'all was able to catch it before the haters of YouTube took it down. I showed y'all Marshall. So this week, I'm diving into the glory road of things. Brent, you ready? Trader. Small college, and you'd have to live in the men's dorm with your family. Hey, coach! Cool. When that little boy loves that gate, I'm gonna leave him right there. How's it sound? Yeah, that's what it takes to coach Division I basketball, and <laughs> that's all right with me. Glory Road was released in 2006 and stars Josh Lucas and Derek Luke and follows the new coach of the 1966 Texas Miners, Don Haskin, as he decides to build a team based on talent rather than race. It's gonna be different. Taco, nacho, burrito. Now I'm looking for hot doggo. You'll have to earn yourselves. Take a look around you. This ain't Kentucky. Look at this. You ain't never gonna be like that. You quit now, you quit every day the rest of your life. You wanna shut them up, then win. You talk a good game, Hill. 
But I didn't come here to find a player I could sit on the bench. I intend to start you. Start NCAA Division I ball. What is it with you, mister? I've accepted it. What are you smoking? I ain't smoking nothing, son. Now, you just told me about a big old dream you have. I can let you play. I can help you make your dream come true faster, and a twist will take your socks off. You talk funny. So do you. Are you gonna let a black player play from the get-go? I don't see color. I see quick, I see skill, and that's what you have. And that's what I'm putting on the court. So, what is this team anyway? All right. Glory Road is easily one of my favorite sports movies of all time next to Remember the Titans. I rate this movie a perfect five out of five. Everything about it is awesome. Plus, you gotta think, we get to watch Kentucky get beat 70 years ago. Oh man, to see Adolf Ruff get beat, I hate Adolf Ruff. Hated him. It wasn't 70 years ago, like 60, 50. I don't know. We're in year 2018. Subtract the 2018 from the 60s. We're somewhere around there, guys. I'm not good at math. <laughs> Anyways, next up, Beezy's Reds. Colts have hired the Eagles offensive coordinator, Frank Wright, to be their head coach. And you know what? I'm not even mad about this at all because the Eagles offensive was nasty. Nasty. You see what they did to that Patriots defense in the Super Bowl? Lit them up. And they did that with Nick Foles, backup quarterback. Yeah, Nick Foles ain't good, y'all. Just so y'all know that. Let's get this clear now. He may have been Super Bowl MVP, but Nick Foles is not good. But Frank made him good. Not Doug Peterson. Frank. So you know what? Frank Wright is going to do good things for Indianapolis and Andrew Luck. Now Jim Mersey, get off the pills or start taking the pills. Do something to fix that damn defense. Thank you. I give this uh, higher though a B plus. Good job on this one, Jim. Just in case you live under a rock or something, the Cavs this weekend made a huge trade, acquiring Rodney Hood, George Hill, Jordan Clarkson, and Larry Nance. Junior, getting rid of Little Isaiah because Little Isaiah couldn't play defense. However, they still got J.R. Smith and Tristan Thompson. And if you watched my past episodes, I told y'all they will not win with those two on their team. So guess what, guys? You've heard it here first from the Dreamers Corner. The Cavs will not win the NBA Finals, even though their team is really, really good. They beat the living shit out of Boston tonight. What do you know? But guess what? You see that guy right there? Yeah. LeBron, you will never be him. I can't even believe I'm doing this last rant, but I am. Because I have to, especially in this society these days. So, men, no means no. That's it. Take it for what it's worth. No means no. I don't care. No means no. If she doesn't want to have sex with you, that does not mean still have sex with her. If she is asleep, that does not mean still have sex with her. That, no means no. That's it. Thank y'all for watching The Dreamers Corner. I'm your host, Michael Beasy. I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. Please keep coming back. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Keep supporting us, and we'll keep making the videos. And please be careful out there on those streets. And ta-ta for now. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown!